So, you guys are never going to guess where I went. Crazy. You went to the world of Coke. Really? Really? You're not you're not even going to give him a chance to to guess? My good friend Josh. He turned 21. Josh, shout out to you, buddy. Happy 21st birthday. Glad we spent it drinking carbonated drinks. I didn't do an intro. I'm still working on an introduction because life is busy and I procrastinate. The sweet bubbly. Me and Josh had a great time. The tour guide is there and he's talking to us. He was really funny. Great performer. Which, in retrospect, you, you have to be because you're doing the same thing over and over. Every day for seven days a week. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the guy's hours. The guy really seemed like he was enjoying himself. Shout out to that guy for doing his job. An amazing, amazing job. I got a picture with him. This guy was really cool. So he was giving facts and pointing out different things in the room. And then he goes and asks how many of us are from Georgia. And I thought everyone was going to raise their hand. I really did. <laughs> I kid you not. Me and Josh were the only two people in the entire room who raised their hand. And it was, it was a cool experience to see that the place that I grew up with and grew up in and still live in has pe brings people from around the world. There was this lovely couple from Germany. They were super socially awkward, which makes sense. And I'm on fire. Fire. These socks are really warm now. <laughs> the lamp was too bright, so I, uh, I diffused the light with a sock, <laughs> and I'm really, really dumb because, of course, it's going to heat up and burn through the sock. It's okay. I mean, I mean, it already had a hole in it, so I'm, it's not like I put my favorite pair of socks. But that's not what I'm upset about. I'm upset that I didn't go through safety precautions and didn't think about the fact that I could burn a hole in a sock. Refresh yourself. The sweet bubbly. It's trademark. Um, by the way, Coca-Cola. 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 The jacket from earlier. Also Coca-Cola. And the reason I point out all these things is um because Coca-Cola did not sponsor me. This is not a sponsored video. But if Coca-Cola wants to sponsor me, let's go for it, Coca-Cola. Me and you. Anyways, we get inside the world of Coke. It was cool. Me and Josh went and saw the polar bear. Got our picture taken with the polar bear. It was super cool. So we went to all the different places and we learned the history of Coca-Cola, how it was founded, why it was originally created. It was originally created as like for medical purposes. Me and Josh found out it wasn't just Coke. It was like all these different sodas. Anything that had carbonation in it was like, ah, you are sick? Carbonate yourself. So there's this interesting and mysterious figure that follows you throughout the entire journey at the World of Coke. And me and Josh refer to him as the man in the hat. But for some reason, he did not sit well with me. He was just a creepy dude. This guy just w knows way too much. It was more of a joke. Me and Josh kept joking about this guy in the hat. But our conspiracies are true, and we will confirm them. We had a great time though. We went to the tasting room and at the very beginning of the, I guess the tour, I don't know, the guy at the very beginning was like, who's gonna try all 100 flavors? Me. I volunteered. I said I would do it. What I didn't take into consideration is that I stopped drinking carbonated drinks and soda a long time ago. And I haven't really, I don't drink soda a lot. 
we got to the tasting place, which is a really cool place. They have soda, like the number one soda for each country all over the world. We got out of the habit of having so much sugar in my body and so much carbonation in my body. We get there, I start drinking all this soda. I can feel it in my ears. This one's called Surge. I certainly got a taste to it. I hate this idea. You have to keep going. I know. Yeah. You you haven't even left North America yet. Part zero. Mel Yellow. That's one I haven't heard of in a long time. I actually like grape. I hope grape's good. No, you don't. Wasn't good. You do not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that was. Is it just me or does that drink say burrito? What is this? Peru. Uh, yes, Peru. Let's see what you have. That is. Look at the amount of this. It's a different, different flavor. <laughs> Okay, Chili. What are you? What? Are, what are you doing, Chili? Oh, yeah, no, that does not bode well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to try a Delaware punch. Costa Rica. It's not bad. Mexico. Oh, Jamaica nada. That was that was really big. Yeah. That one smells funny. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it tastes good though. Just try it. Oh my. I know, right? It's what? You lied to me. What do you have to offer us? Bubbles. You have bubbles to offer us. My body just had a reaction. I start drinking all this soda from all across the world and it's not sitting well. My stomach's like turning, it's bubbling up inside. Sweet bubbly. And I'm slow and sluggish. It's not terrible. I did try Beverly. I better see more in there. In nope, cup. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. I, I better see some more in that cup. <laughs> How's that? Is that good for you? Better. All right, fine. Bottoms up. What does it even smell like before you even taste it? It, it smells like something I don't want to drink. Italy, no. It was a time. I had a great time though, trying the different flavors. It was cool to see like which countries, you know, had which kind of drink. All in all, it was a great experience. And I would recommend that if you haven't been in a long time, go. It's cool to learn the history. It's cool to see the vault where they store the secret formula. Um, I found out something really interesting about the secret formula. I know what it is. But I'm not going to tell you. I want you to go and see if you can't figure it out. There's details, but you have to go through every room. And you have to listen to every fact that there is there. And if you do that, I promise you, you'll piece it together. But it's really cool. Figuring it out is really neat. Go have fun. Go adventure. Go have a new experience. The World of Coke is a cool place. At the very end, they have all this like merch and whatnot. I actually got this beanie from there. 
and this is becoming one of my favorite hats. Not just because of the Coca-Cola, but if you actually look, refresh yourself. Isn't that neat? Anyways, grab a friend or a loved one, go to the World of Coke, and enjoy yourselves. I promise you, you're going to have a great time as long as you're with great people. Grab a Coke and go refresh yourself. I dropped the cap.